Ever wonder what's hidden beneath the Great Lakes? I'm not just talking about shipwrecks or lost treasures, though there are plenty. I mean ancient mysteries sealed away for thousands of years waiting for us to notice. It all started with a strange blip on a sonar screen. Scientists mapping Lake Huron's bottom expected just mud and rocks. Then a perfect V-shaped line of stones appeared, nearly 40 meters down. It wasn't random. It was a hunting blind, built by ancient people over 9,000 years ago when this was dry land. Imagine that, a piece of Stone Age engineering, preserved by the cold, dark, lake. That's when it hit me. The Great Lakes aren't just lakes. These inland seas hold a fifth of the world's fresh surface water, and even make their own weather. But their deepest secrets are historical. Beneath the waves are forests and lost worlds, sealed away by the water's chill. So how do we uncover these stories? With a mix of old-school grit and new technology, archaeologists use sonar, underwater drones, and sediment cores to peel back the layers. Every year, they find something mind-blowing, like the Alpina Amberley Ridge. This ridge was once a land bridge across Lake Huron, teeming with caribou and hunters. You can still see stone lines and hunting blinds, almost perfectly preserved. Fires were built, tools made, and life thrived here, before the land vanished beneath rising water. And then there's the cosmic stuff. The Slate Islands in Lake Superior? They're the bruised peak of a massive meteorite impact. Another ancient crater, hidden under Lake Huron, only shows up in gravity and magnetic data. Some say there's even a Stonehenge at the bottom of Grand Traverse Bay, a circle of stones, one possibly carved with a mastodon. Is it a monument, or just a fluke of nature? Nobody's sure. The lakes keep other secrets too. Locked away in ancient peat bogs and layers of mud, scientists extract pollen, seeds, even ancient DNA, traces of mammoths, mastodons, and prehistoric caribou. It's like a postcard from the Ice Age, showing how life changed as the world warmed and how early humans fit in. Glacial meltwater carved giant river valleys, some deeper than the Grand Canyon, before the lakes even existed. And beneath it all, the billion-year-old Canadian shield tells the story of vanished mountains, volcanoes, and a failed ocean that tried to split the continent. But the story isn't finished. The land is still rising, tilting the shores and shifting the water. Climate change is speeding things up. Warmer water, wild storms, shrinking ice, some ancient sites might vanish before anyone ever sees them. Even now, most of the lake floors are still unmapped. Each year brings new discoveries. Shipwrecks, fossils, forgotten landscapes. The Great Lakes are more than lakes. They're inland oceans, time capsules, keepers of stories from cosmic impacts to lost civilizations. As long as waves wash these shores, the mysteries will keep coming. So next time you look out over the water, Remember, you're gazing into a living museum, filled with secrets we're only beginning to understand. A sweeping view over the Great Lakes as narration begins, diving underwater to reveal a stone hunting blind, then soaring past sunken forests and ancient riverbeds, ending with the surface shimmering under the setting sun as the narrator invites viewers to keep searching for hidden stories.